Hey everyone, welcome back to part 6 of our Getting Started Guide for CTS Wardrobe. In the last video, we looked at how to customize the entry we made for this doe hair in our wardrobe. In this video, I want to go ahead and show you how to uh, remove part of what you're wearing once you have these subfolders in place. And then we're going to go ahead and add one additional item to our wardrobe to see how that comes into play and look at a slightly different method for uploading the image into wardrobe. So let's get started. Now, I have my hair on and I have my HUD on. If I pop back over to my wardrobe, you remember that this button up here takes off absolutely everything. It takes the hair off, takes the HUD off, takes everything off. What if I only want to remove the HUD? Now certainly I could do it the old fashioned way. I could right click on it in the, in the viewer and say detach. But the other option is to use this Worn Outfits button up at the top. And what Worn Outfits does is it shows you a list of all of the currently wardrobed items you are wearing and allows you to do stuff with them. And you'll notice here it's got my subfolders. So Hair, Nola Hair, and this one is called Hair, and Hair, Nola Hair, HUD. If I want to just remove the HUD, I can come in here, find the one for the HUD, and choose Take Off. So now my hair is still on, but my HUD should be gone, and it is. So once you get into using these subfolders, you'll now have a chance to both very specifically add things when you don't want to wear the entire set and remove things when you don't want to remove the entire set. Let's go ahead and add a second thing to our wardrobe, though, so that we can get in and really start to play around with how this works. And this time it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So let's take a look at these pants that I'm wearing. So I got these pants the other day. A lot of what I'm wearing is actually either uh, gotcha items that I transferred over from Butta that just made it easy, or I did go out and grab a couple of quick freebies um, that we can work with. So these are the vintage Norma jeans from Castle Rock Couture. And if you're brand new to Second Life, they do offer a free a 500 Linden gift card to all people who are 30 days old or less. So it's a great way to get in and get some clothes and get started. Anyway, so I went ahead and picked these up uh, just really quickly while I was there. Now, if we look inside of this folder, we can see that it has a picture with it. Just like with the dough picture, this is actually a full perm picture, meaning it has copy, mod, and transfer rights. When you have a picture from a vendor, that has full permissions, you don't actually have to save it to your hard drive in order to upload it to wardrobe. So we're gonna do this upload slightly different than we did the last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my picture. I'm gonna right click on it. And in both Firestorm and Catsnip and a lot of other viewers, you have the option to copy the asset UUID. This is the ID code that points to this graphic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, copy asset UUID. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop back into my wardrobe, and I'm going to go back to import, but this time, instead of uploading an image, I'm going to import a texture. And that texture UUID is going to go right there. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. So that's the big long code for the picture for those pants. Now, these are called Vintage Norma Jeans, and they come in this white color. So I'm going to go ahead and just title this Vintage Norma Jeans. And I'm going to go ahead and add a tag. These are jeans. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to say, I have the white color of jeans. And I'm going to leave the rest alone and choose OK. And there it is. There's my picture uh, imported without me having to save it or do anything. So that's a nice way of taking care of stuff. Now I have a J on the side for my jeans tag. If I want to only see my hair, I can come over to the left and click the hair tag and you'll notice that it filters down to just show my hair. If I wanna show just my jeans, I can come in here and add the jeans tag and remove the hair tag and so on. So you have a lot of flexibility with kind of customizing the view of the things that you have in your inventory. So let's go back to today, here's my two items. Now, we need to go back into Second Life and create in our RLV folder, underneath clothing, my Norma Jean, vintage Norma jeans folder. Again, it has to match exactly what we put into wardrobe. Vintage Norma jeans. All right. Now, if we take a look at this here, we've got a lot of different things in here. It's more than just what we had with the hair. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. I'm going to for the HUD. 
So I'm going to put my HUD in there. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder for the alpha layer. And I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to create a new folder for the alpha no feet. I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to create folders for all of these different sizes. Now, here's the thing. I have a standard size large body right now. I'm not using a mesh body. This is just a standard uh, avatar body. So I'm using large. Let's say you'll only ever use large and maybe medium. Maybe you have two shapes, one that's large, one that's medium. That's all you ever need to keep. If you're never going to use the rest, you can feel free to go ahead and delete these. Or you can go ahead and save all of them if you think maybe there's a chance that you might want to use some of them. So I'll just keep those three for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and move my picture in here as well. But the extra small and sm extra, extra small, I'm never going to wear. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those. All right. So now I've got my folder. And I've got all my subfolders in place. If I go back here, I can click on my show where dialog and I'll see all of these different subfolders I just created. And once again, I can come up to my worn outfits now. And because I've added this to my wardrobe, I'm going to see that I have the alpha layer and the large jeans turned on. And if I wanted to take those off, I could take them off just like I did with the hair. For the purposes of this video, I'll go ahead and leave them on for now just to make it so that I'm not um, getting too exposed during the video. But that's another way to upload an item and to get it categorized into your RLV folder uh, and into wardrobe. So that's it. Now we have two items, our hair and our jeans. I'm going to come back in the next video and we're going to take a picture. I've been wearing this bikini top. I'm going to go ahead and throw on the bikini bottoms and we're going to take a picture of the bikini uh, and use that picture to upload it to uh, wardrobe. So stay tuned for the next video and the next step in this process.